Panchito. 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 Pasito. Panchito. Pachito. Sarita. <risa> What an exciting place here, Fran. Where are we right now? This is La Popa. It's the uh, convent of La Popa. Absolutely wonderful. This is my favorite spot in Cartagena. Really? Yes. In Why? Here. Why is that? Because of the views. The views, uh, I'm going to show you later, they're mm -hmm. absolutely wonderful. So here in La Popa, it's a convent? Yes. It's a church? Correct. Exactly. It's the convent of uh, the Virgin of uh, Candelaria. Uh -huh. uh, she will be the patroness of the city. And. Um, why don't you come with me and I'll okay, show you what's go, going on go. there? Because wait. in here, it's just the beginning. Look at that. Wow, it's quite a modern city actually, it isn't is, it? It is. So this is why it's my favorite spot. Today is a little bit cloudy, it could be a little bit sunny actually, so we yeah. can see much more. But this is why I love it here so much. Yes, me too. I'm really Are you ready excited. to go inside? I am, in, I yes. am ready. Let's do okay. it. We, we bring a tourist here because that's the nice point. See the best view of Cartagena. Uh -huh. Some priests have a big uh, dream. Uh -huh. They're supposed to uh, promise to build a church and monastery in the name of La Candelaria. Here in La Popa, this is a very good example of the uh, export of what we had uh, in the past. Uh, some of these patios uh, with a well in the middle, it is a typical example of what we have back home. Yeah. Oh, we have to stay quiet. This chapel was built in the 18th century. And look at this one, the Arca. Look at the style, you know, look at the style. Uh -huh. It's Barocco styled from 18th century. So the people are Catholic every year come here to the hill and they take it and they have a procession. Oh, they take out the Virgin, right? No, I, that's right. Very they, good. Do, you know, do you see the uh, uh, when you come here, you see the white cross on the, on the, on the, on the road? Yeah, uh -huh. On the left and the right. Yes, uh, 14th, a white cross. Yeah. That's, uh, we call it Station of the Cross. Oh. Station of the Cross. They have 14th. Station cent. of the Cross. Yeah. Right. Okay, all right. We're going to walk out the monastery. I uh, want to take you somewhere else. Is there more? No. This is only the, uh, this is only the, the little bit of it. Yeah? All right, the beginning. Great. Are you ready? I am yes. always ready. Okay. You know that. Let's go, right? Let's go. Algo me dice que estás escondiendo una pena penita. All right, Sarah. That's me. I was not going to leave you without coming to a coffee place. This is what we came here for. Okay. To have a good coffee. That's right. Yes? I don't need any more energy, Fran. <laughs> but this, Do they have decaf? <laughs> this is more than energy, okay? So we're going to go inside. This is Café San Alberto. Uh -huh. This is the most exquisite coffee you'll find in Colombia, my dear. Wow. Yes. yes. Now let me tell you. Everybody knows that the coffee in Colombia, but San Alberto has the award in 2015. Uh -huh. The most award-winner coffee in Colombia. Wow. We are uh, special because first we don't buy coffee to anybody. Uh -huh. We are growers our own coffee. Oh wow. Second, we have a wonderful process called five stop selection, mm -hmm. and that process let us take the next level in the coffee world. We guarantee the only the best fruit is in your mouth. We have two different ways to make coffee. Yeah. We have classic coffee from the machine, mm -hmm. but we also have variety in methods. Yeah, Each I saw some of them, right? Different yeah. processes. Yeah, uh -huh. absolutely. And the awesome about these methods is each one result different flavor in coffee. And that let us play with the flavors in coffee. Well, example, thank you very much for being with us, Delia. So wishing you all the best here. Yeah. And ladies and gentlemen, let's continue with our adventure. <laughs> It's been such a long day and now it's time to eat. 
I know it's about time. Yeah, beautiful well, food here in Colombia though, Very right? good food yeah. everywhere, plenty of restaurants, uh, international, uh, local. But since we're in Cartagena, we're going to go local. Yes. So our guide, uh, Rafael, is waiting for us actually right here. Fantastic. Hi, Rafael. Yeah. <laughs> great, great. Good, good. Okay, we're waiting for food. Okay, this is a typical one, the restaurant. Here. Fantastic. There All right, is. let's go in. <laughs> The coconut rice, uh -huh. which is a very, very traditional from Cartagena. Patacones, that is a must. Patacones is the banana. Patacones, right? a fried banana, they call patacones. This mm -hmm. is like a, the green plantains. All right. Then you just cut them in the big pieces and then you fry them first. And after that, it's a special, you know, like instrument where you just kind of, you know, kind of smash them to get it flat. And after that, you put them in the water with salt. They get it like that and put it fry again to get it crispy. Yeah. And then the fish, you saw this, that the fish uh, was the a fish, good choice. Yes, yeah, a good choice. Yeah, you can have, depends on the cash of the day, it could be like a red snapper, you can have a, cor, you know, a corvina, or you can have like a, what it's called, the mojarra. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, great. Okay. And so this is fried. the Cartagena this fish. This is Cartagena fish. Par Everything. Pargo, right? pargo. Pargo. Yeah, pargo. What is your favorite dish? This is my favorite dish. Oh, yeah, that's the one. Okay. I come to, every time when I come, arroz con coco, yeah. patacones, and in fish, and rest up. Yeah, this is, this is it. Thank you very much to Raphael and of course to Fran, our destinations concierge. Do stop us around the ship. Fran has all the answers. I have a lot of questions. <laughs> and of course our broadcast team has done a fantastic job with this, right Fran? Absolutely, yes. Exactly. Uh, I can't wait to eat. Yes, so we we'll see you around the ship. We will. Let well, us know if we need well to Buen provecho. Adios. Buen provecho. Adios. <laughs>